This is section 28 of Newspaper Articles by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Newspaper Articles by Mark Twain, section 28. Territorial Enterprise, October 30th or 31st, 1866. Territorial Enterprise, October 30th or 31st, 1866. Enterprise Staff Report on Upcoming Twain Lecture. Tomorrow night our citizens will be afforded an opportunity to gratify their curiosity and offer a fitting testimonial to their fellow townsman Mark Twain, who will do up the Sandwich Islands at the Opera House on that occasion. The enthusiasm with which his lecture was everywhere greeted is still ringing throughout California, and now that his foot is in his native heath, we expect to see the very mountains shake with a tempest of applause. Our state can justly claim Mark Twain as its own peculiar production. It was while a resident here and associated with the enterprise that he assumed the name of Mark Twain, and developed that rich and inexhaustible vein of humor which has made the title famous. True, he has since warmed his fancy in tropical climes, and expanded his thought by ocean pilgrimage, and heated his eloquence in volcanic fires, but all these rest upon the solid foundation which was originally laid in our native alkali and sagebrush. From present appearances he will receive an ovation seldom if ever equaled in our city, and it is pleasing to know that such an event will be equally gratifying to the audience and speaker. Territorial Enterprise, November 1st or 2nd, 1866. Enterprise Staff Report on Mark Twain's Lecture. One of the largest and most fashionable audiences that ever graced the Opera House was in attendance last evening on the occasion of Mark Twain's lecture on the Sandwich Islands. The entire dress circle and the greater portion of the parquet were filled with ladies, while all the available space for extra seats and standing room was occupied. It was a magnificent tribute to the lecturer from his old friends. Of the lecture itself we can only speak in general terms, as its points are too numerous and varied to admit of special mention. Combining the most valuable statistical and general information with passages of drollest humor, all delivered in the peculiar and inimitable style of the author in the lecture, it constitutes an entertainment of rare excellence and intelligence. The lecture will be delivered in the principal towns throughout the state but we are unable at present to mention definitely any time or place. In a day or two the entire program will be arranged. Meanwhile, our neighboring towns can well afford to wait patiently in anticipation of a rare treat. Territorial Enterprise, November 4, 1866. Card from Mark Twain. The following characteristic card from Mark Twain is in reply to a general invitation of the residents of Carson extended to him to visit the state capital and deliver his lecture on the Sandwich Islands. Card. Virginia, November 1st. His Excellency, H. G. Blaisdell, Governor, and Messrs. A. Helms, O. A. F. Gilbert, H. F. Rice, and others. Gentlemen, your kind and cordial invitation to lecture before my old friends in Carson has reached me, and I hasten to thank you gratefully for this generous recognition, this generous toleration, I should say, of one who has shamefully deserted the high office of governor of the third house of Nevada and gone into the missionary business thus leaving you to the mercy of scheming politicians, an act which, but for your forgiving disposition, must have stamped my name with infamy. I take a natural pride in being welcomed home by so long a list of old personal friends, and shall do my level best to please them, hoping, at the same time, that they will be more indulgent toward my shortcomings than they would feel called upon to be toward those of a stranger. Kindly thanking you again, gentlemen, I gladly accept your invitation, and shall appear on the stage of the Carson Theatre on Saturday evening, November 3rd, and disgorge a few lines, and as much truth as I can pump out without damaging my constitution. Yours sincerely, Mark Twain. 
ex-governor third house and late independent missionary to the sandwich islands p s i would have answered yesterday but i was on the sick list and i thought i had better wait a day and see whether i was going to get well or not m t territorial enterprise sunday november eleventh eighteen sixty six written after twain was a victim of a practical joke robbery card to the highwaymen last night i lectured in gold hill on the sandwich islands at ten o'clock i started on foot to virginia to meet a lot of personal friends who were going to set up all night with me and start me off in good shape for san francisco in the morning this social program proved my downfall but for it i would have remained in gold hill as we raised the hill and straightened up on the divide a man just ahead of us mac my agent and myself blew an ordinary policeman's whistle and mac said thunder this is an improvement they didn't used to keep policemen on the divide i coincided the infernal whistle was only a signal to you road agents about half a minute afterwards a small man emerged from some ambuscade or other and crowded close up to me i was smoking and supposed he wanted a light but this humorist instead of asking for a light thrust a horrible six-shooter in my face and simply said stand and deliver i said my son your arguments are powerful take what i have but uncock that infamous pistol the young man uncocked the pistol but he requested three other gentlemen to present theirs at my head and then he took all the money i had twenty or twenty-five dollars and my watch then he said to one of his party beauregard go through that man meaning mac and the distinguished rebel did go through mac then the little captain said stonewall jackson seat these men by the roadside and hide yourself if they move within five minutes blow their brains out stonewall said all right sire then the party six in number started toward virginia and disappeared now i want to say to you road agents as follows my watch was given to me by judge sandy baldwin and theodore winters and i value it above anything else i own if you will send that to me to the enterprise office or to any prominent man in san francisco you may keep the money and welcome you know you got all the money mac had and mac is an orphan and besides the money he had belonged to me adieu my romantic young friends mark twain end of section twenty eight